I'm thrilled to delve into a topic that holds a special place in my heart. Do you find yourself grappling with breaking through your limitations? Perhaps you feel like you're constantly hitting a wall, unable to reach your full potential. Well, my friends, you are not alone. I've encountered countless individuals facing the same challenge, feeling stuck in both their personal and professional lives. But fear not, because in today's message, I'm going to share with you five powerful ways to challenge yourself and break through those limitations. These are strategies I've personally employed, witnessing incredible results. And let me tell you, there's no greater feeling than breaking through a barrier and achieving something you once deemed impossible. So let's dive in. Starting with number five. Challenge yourself and break through your limitations by practicing self-discipline and consistency. Now, I understand what some of you may be thinking. Self-discipline and consistency sound like hard work and sacrifice. And you're absolutely right. But let me pose a question. Are the rewards that come with breaking through your limitations worth the hard work and sacrifice? I firmly believe they are, and I'm here to illustrate why. First and foremost, let's define what self-discipline and consistency entail. Self-discipline is the ability to control your impulses and emotions, staying focused on what's important. It's about consciously deciding to do what needs to be done, even when you don't feel like it. Consistency, on the other hand, is the act of repeatedly doing something without fail. It's about establishing a habit and sticking to it day in and day out. Now why are self-discipline and consistency so crucial when it comes to challenging yourself and breaking through your limitations? Well, let me tell you, it all starts with your mindset. Your mindset is the foundation of everything you do in life. It's the lens through which you see the world and the filter through which you interpret your experiences. And if you have a weak mindset, you'll easily give in to your impulses and emotions, struggling to stay consistent. But if you have a strong mindset, one fueled by self-discipline and consistency, you'll have the mental strength to push through any challenge and break through your limitations. Self-discipline and consistency go hand in hand. When you have self-discipline, you're able to stay consistent. And when you're consistent, you're able to strengthen your self-discipline. It's a powerful cycle that leads to success. Now, I want to share with you three ways in which you can practice self-discipline and consistency to challenge yourself and break through your limitations. The first way is to set clear and specific goals. Without a clear goal in mind, it's easy to get sidetracked and lose focus. But when you have a specific goal, you have something to work towards, making it easier to stay disciplined and consistent. So take some time to think about what you want to achieve and set a specific goal that will push you out of your comfort zone. Remember, your goal should be challenging yet achievable. The second way is to create a plan and stick to it. Self-discipline and consistency aren't just about mental strength. They also involve having a plan and sticking to it. Create a plan that will help you reach your goal and commit to following it every single day. It may not be easy at first, but with time, it will become a habit, making it easier to stay consistent. The third way is to hold yourself accountable. It's easy to make excuses and justify why we didn't do something. But when you hold yourself accountable, you take ownership of your actions and results. Find someone who can hold you accountable, whether it's a friend, mentor, or coach. Share your goals and plan with them, and ask them to check in with you regularly. This will not only help you stay disciplined and consistent, but also provide you with the support and motivation you need to keep going. When you look back on your life, you don't want to have any regrets. You want to know that you gave it your all and challenged yourself to break through your limitations. And the only way to do that is by practicing self-discipline and consistency. Which leads us to number four. Challenge yourself and break through your limitations by embracing failure and learning from it. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Failure is not something we want to embrace. It brings feelings of disappointment, frustration, and even shame. But I'm here to tell you that failure is not something to be feared. Rather, it's something to be embraced and learned from. You see, failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of the journey. It's through failure that we learn, grow, and ultimately achieve our goals. Think about it. Every successful person you know has experienced failure at some point in their life. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. Oprah Winfrey was fired from her first job as a TV anchor. And Walt Disney was told he lacked creativity and imagination. But did they let failure stop them? No, they used it as fuel to push themselves further and achieve their dreams. So, 
How can we embrace failure and use it to challenge ourselves and break through our limitations? The first step is to change our mindset. Instead of viewing failure as a negative, see it as an opportunity to learn and improve. As Thomas Edison once said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Each failure brings us one step closer to success, as long as we're willing to learn from it. The next step is to take responsibility for our failures. It can be easy to blame others or make excuses for our shortcomings. But true growth and progress come from taking ownership of our mistakes. Success has many fathers, but failure is an orphan. Do not be afraid to take ownership of your failures, for it is through this accountability that we can truly learn and improve. Another way to embrace failure is to see it as a learning opportunity. When we fail, we're forced to reflect on what went wrong and how we can do better next time. This self-reflection is crucial for personal growth and development. So, instead of dwelling on the disappointment of failure, use it as a chance to evaluate your actions and make necessary adjustments for future success. Lastly, do not let failure define you. It's easy to get caught up in the idea that one failure means we are a failure, but this is simply not true. Failure is a temporary setback, not a permanent label. It's important to separate our self-worth from our failures and remember that we are capable of achieving great things despite our past mistakes. Which leads us to number three. Challenge yourself and break through your limitations by surrounding yourself with people who inspire you. Your environment plays a crucial role in shaping who you are and what you can achieve, and the people you surround yourself with are a major part of that environment. When you surround yourself with people who inspire you, who are driven and motivated, it has a positive impact on your life. These individuals push you to be better, to think bigger, and to strive for more. They challenge you to break through your limitations and reach for your dreams. But let me be clear. Surrounding yourself with inspiring individuals does not mean you have to cut ties with everyone else. It simply means being intentional about the people you spend the most time with. It means choosing to surround yourself with those who uplift and motivate you, rather than bring you down. Now you may be thinking, how do I find these inspiring individuals? Well the truth is, they're all around you. They can be your friends, family members, colleagues, or even strangers you meet. The key is to be open to building relationships with those who inspire you. And once you find them, nurture those relationships and learn from them. One of my mentors, the late Earl Schaff, once said, You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And I couldn't agree more. So ask yourself, are the people you spend the most time with helping you grow and reach your full potential? Are they challenging you to break through your limitations? If not, it may be time to reevaluate your circle and make some changes. Surrounding yourself with inspiring individuals not only helps you break through your limitations, but it also opens up new opportunities and perspectives. When you're around like-minded individuals who are striving for success, it creates a positive and supportive environment. In that environment, you have the freedom to dream big and think outside the box. But it's not just about surrounding yourself with successful individuals. It's about learning from them and implementing their habits and mindset into your own life. Take the time to observe and study the people who inspire you. What do they do differently? How do they handle challenges and setbacks? What motivates them? By learning from them, you can adopt their habits, mindset, and apply it to your own life. I also want to emphasize the importance of being a source of inspiration for others. Just as you are seeking out inspiring individuals, there are also people who are looking up to you. They see your drive and determination, and they are inspired by it. So use your influence to positively impact those around you. Share your knowledge and experiences, and be a source of motivation for others. Which leads us to number two. Challenge yourself and break through your limitations by stepping out of your comfort zone. You see, the comfort zone is a dangerous place to be. It may feel safe and familiar, but it is also where dreams go to die. It's where we settle for mediocrity and let our fears and doubts hold us back from reaching our full potential. But I'm here to tell you that you are capable of so much more. You have within you the power to break through your limitations and achieve greatness. And it all starts with stepping out of your comfort zone. Now I'm not saying that it will be easy. In fact, it will be one of the most challenging things you will ever do. But let me ask you this my friends. What is the alternative? To stay in your comfort zone and live a life of regret. Wondering what could have been. Or to take a leap of faith and discover just how much you are truly capable of. 
I choose the latter, and I hope you will too. So how do we go about stepping out of our comfort zone? The first step is to identify what your comfort zone looks like. It could be a certain routine, a particular job, or even a relationship that no longer serves you. Once you have identified it, it is time to take action. The second step is to set a goal that is just outside of your comfort zone. Something that scares you, but also excites you. It could be running a marathon, starting your own business, or even just speaking in front of a crowd. Whatever it may be, make sure it is something that will push you to grow and challenge yourself. And finally, the most important step. Take action. This is where most people get stuck. They have identified their comfort zone, set a goal, but then they hesitate to take that first step. They let their fears and doubts hold them back. But fear is just an illusion. It is not real. It is simply a thought that we have given power to. And the only way to overcome it is by taking action. So take that first step, and then another, and another. Before you know it, you will have broken through your limitations and achieved what you once thought was impossible. Now I want to share with you a personal story. When I was just starting out in my career, I was terrified of public speaking. The thought of standing in front of a crowd and delivering a speech made me break out in a cold sweat. But I knew that if I wanted to achieve my goals and make an impact, I had to overcome this fear. So I started small. I joined a local Toastmasters club and practiced speaking in front of a small group. And then I gradually increased the size of the audience. It was not easy, but with each speech, I grew more confident and more comfortable stepping out of my comfort zone. And now, here I am, standing in front of all of you, delivering this speech. My friends, I am a living example of the power of stepping out of your comfort zone. And I can tell you from experience that the rewards are worth the risk. When we step out of our comfort zone, we open ourselves up to new opportunities, new experiences, and new levels of growth. Which leads us to number one. Challenge yourself and break through your limitations by setting specific and achievable goals. This may seem like a simple concept, but the truth is, many people struggle with setting goals and even more struggle with achieving them. But today, I want to share with you the power of goal setting and how it can transform your life. First and foremost, let's talk about the importance of setting specific goals. A goal without a specific target is like trying to hit a bullseye blindfolded. You may get close, but you will never hit the mark. Specific goals give you a clear direction and a clear destination. They allow you to focus your energy and efforts towards a specific outcome. So I challenge you to think about what you truly want in life. What is your ultimate goal? Write it down and make it as specific as possible. Next, let's talk about achievable goals. Many people make the mistake of setting unrealistic goals. And when they fail to achieve them, they get discouraged and give up. But the key is to set goals that are challenging yet achievable. You want to stretch yourself, but not to the point where you break. Remember, success is a journey, not a sprint. So set achievable goals that will push you out of your comfort zone and help you grow. Now setting goals is just the first step. The real challenge comes in achieving them. And this is where most people give up. They get overwhelmed by the obstacles and limitations that come their way. But I want to tell you that these challenges are not meant to stop you. They are meant to strengthen you. They are meant to make you better, stronger, and more resilient. When you set specific and achievable goals, you are essentially creating a roadmap for success. And just like any journey, there will be bumps on the road. But the key is to stay committed to your goals and to keep moving forward no matter what. Remember, success is not about avoiding challenges, it's about overcoming them. So how do you break through your limitations and achieve your goals? First, you must have a burning desire for success. You must want it more than anything else. This desire will fuel your motivation and determination to keep going when things get tough. Secondly, you must have a strong mindset. Your thoughts and beliefs are powerful. If you believe that you can achieve your goals, then you will. But if you doubt yourself and your abilities, then you are setting yourself up for failure. So cultivate a positive and resilient mindset that will help you overcome any obstacle. Lastly, you must take action. Goals without action are just dreams. You must be willing to put in the work, make sacrifices, and take risks. Success does not come easy, but it is worth it. So take consistent action towards your goals and never give up. I want to leave you with this quote by Zig Ziglar. If you aim at nothing, you will hit it every time. 
So I challenge you to set specific and achievable goals. Challenge yourself and break through your limitations. The power to transform your life is in your hands. Are you ready to take action and make your dreams a reality? I believe in you. Now it's time for you to believe in yourself. Thank you. I am thrilled to have you join me today for a very special message. Are you someone who struggles with fear? Do you find yourself held back by the limitations and doubts that seem to constantly plague your mind? Well, my friends, you are not alone. In today's fast-paced world, fear is an all-too-common obstacle that holds many of us back from reaching our full potential. But fear doesn't have to be our enemy. In fact, it can be a powerful motivator if we learn how to break through it. In this video, I will share with you five ways to break your fears and unlock your true potential. These are strategies that I have personally used and have seen countless others use to overcome their fears and achieve their dreams. So my friends, if you're ready to break free from the chains of fear and step into a life of courage and confidence, then stay tuned. This message is for you. Let's dive in and discover the power of breaking our fears. This leads us to number five, which is breaking your fears by taking action. You see, fear is like a wall that stands between you and your dreams. It may seem tall and impenetrable, but I am here to tell you that it is not. Fear is just an illusion, a product of our minds, and the only way to break through it is by taking action. Now I know what some of you may be thinking, easier said than done. And I understand that taking action can be scary, especially when we are facing our fears. But let me ask you this. What is scarier, facing your fears and taking action, or living a life filled with regret and what-ifs? The answer is clear. We must be willing to take action and face our fears head-on if we want to live a life of fulfillment and success. So how do we take action and break our fears? The first step is to identify what it is that we fear. Is it failure, rejection, uncertainty? Once we know what our fear is, we can start to work on overcoming it. Remember, knowledge is power. The more we understand our fears, the more equipped we are to conquer them. The next step is to take small, consistent actions towards our goals. Many times we let our fears paralyze us, and we end up doing nothing. But here's the thing. The longer we wait, the bigger our fears become. So instead of waiting for the perfect moment or the perfect plan, take small steps every day towards your dreams. It can be as simple as making a phone call, sending an email, or doing some research. The key is to keep moving forward, no matter how small the steps may be. Another powerful way to break our fears is by changing our perspective. Instead of viewing fear as something negative, see it as an opportunity for growth. Every time we face our fears and take action, we become stronger and more resilient. We learn from our experiences, and we become better equipped to handle future challenges. So embrace your fears and use them as fuel to propel you towards your dreams. Furthermore, it is crucial to surround ourselves with the right people. The ones who support and encourage us and who believe in our potential. The truth is, we become like the people we spend the most time with. So if we surround ourselves with people who are constantly holding us back or feeding our fears, it will be challenging to break through them. But when we have a strong support system, we feel more confident and motivated to take action and overcome our fears. Last but certainly not least, we must remember that fear is a natural part of the journey toward success. It is not something that we can eliminate completely but we can learn to manage it and use it to our advantage. As the saying goes, feel the fear and do it anyway. The more we face our fears and take action, the more we realize that they were never as scary as we thought. And that is the beauty of taking action. It helps us to break through our fears and discover our true potential. This leads us to number four, which is breaking your fears by changing your perspective. Now let me ask you this. Have you ever been in a situation where you were afraid to do something? Maybe it was a new opportunity, a new job, or even a new relationship, and that fear held you back from taking action. I know I have, and I'm sure many of you can relate, but what if I told you that fear is just an illusion? That it's all in your mind? You see, fear is not something that is tangible. It's not something that you can touch or hold. It's simply a feeling that arises from our thoughts and beliefs. And that is where changing your perspective comes in. By shifting your thoughts and beliefs, you can change your perspective on fear and ultimately break it. Let me share with you a personal story. When I was just starting out in my career, I was terrified of public speaking. 
The thought of standing in front of a crowd and delivering a speech made my heart race and my palms sweat. But then I realized something. It wasn't the act of public speaking that scared me. It was the thoughts and beliefs I had about it. I believed that I was not a good speaker, that I would stumble over my words, and that people would judge me. And those beliefs were holding me back from reaching my full potential. But then I decided to change my perspective. Instead of focusing on my fears, I focused on the opportunity to share my knowledge and inspire others. I shifted my thoughts to positive ones, and I started to believe in myself. And you know what? It worked. Today, I am known as one of the best motivational speakers in the world. And it all started with changing my perspective on fear. So how can you do the same? How can you break your fears by changing your perspective? Well, here are three simple steps that you can start implementing today. Step 1. Identify your fears. The first step to changing your perspective is to identify what you are afraid of. Take some time to reflect and write down your fears. This will help you understand where they are coming from and how they are holding you back. Step 2. Challenge your thoughts and beliefs. Once you have identified your fears, it's time to challenge them. Ask yourself, are these thoughts and beliefs serving me? Are they true? Most of the time, you will realize that your fears are based on false assumptions and limiting beliefs, and by challenging them, you can start to change your perspective. Step 3. Reframe your thoughts and beliefs. The final step is to reframe your thoughts and beliefs into more positive and empowering ones. For example, instead of saying, I am not good enough, say, I am capable and confident. By reframing your thoughts, you can change your perspective on fear and see it as an opportunity for growth and success. Now, I want to be clear. Changing your perspective is not a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process. You will face new fears and challenges. But by consistently applying these steps, you can break through them and achieve your goals. Remember, fear is just an illusion. It's all in your mind. And by changing your perspective, you can break it and reach new heights of success. Which leads us to number three. Breaking your fears by facing your fears. Now I know what you may be thinking. Facing our fears can be a daunting and uncomfortable task. It requires us to step out of our comfort zone and confront the very things that scare us. But let me tell you, my friends, that is exactly why it is so important. You see, fear is a natural and necessary emotion. It is what keeps us safe and protected from potential harm. However, when fear starts to control our lives and hold us back from reaching our full potential, that is when it becomes a problem. And the only way to break free from fear's grip is by facing it head on. Now I'm not saying that it will be easy. In fact, facing our fears can be one of the most challenging things we will ever do. But I can assure you, it will also be one of the most rewarding. So how exactly do we go about facing our fears? Well, let me share with you three simple steps that have helped me and countless others overcome our fears and achieve greatness. Step 1. Identify your fears. The first step in facing our fears is to identify what exactly it is that we are afraid of. This may seem obvious, but oftentimes our fears are buried deep within our subconscious mind, making it difficult for us to pinpoint them. So take a moment to reflect and think about what truly scares you. Is it public speaking? Rejection? Failure? Whatever it may be, write it down and acknowledge it. Step 2. Understand the root cause. Once you have identified your fears, it is important to understand where they stem from. Most of our fears are rooted in past experiences or beliefs that we have internalized. For example, if you have a fear of public speaking, it could be because of a negative experience you had in the past, or because you believe you are not a good speaker. By understanding the root cause of our fears, we can start to challenge and change those beliefs. Step 3. Take Action the final and most crucial step in facing our fears is to take action. This is where the real breakthrough happens. It is not enough to simply acknowledge and understand our fears. We must actively work towards overcoming them. And the best way to do that is by taking small, consistent steps towards our fears. If you have a fear of public speaking, start by speaking in front of a small group of friends or family. If you have a fear of rejection, start by asking for something small and gradually work your way up. The key is to keep pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and facing your fears head on. Now I want to make one thing clear. 
Overcoming our fears does not mean that we will never feel fear again. Fear will always be a part of our lives. But by facing our fears, we learn to control and manage it rather than letting it control us. And that, my friends, is the true meaning of breaking our fears. Which leads us to number two. Breaking your fears by understanding the root cause. You say, in order to overcome our fears, we must first understand where they come from. We must dig deep and uncover the root cause of our fears. So what exactly is the root cause of fear? It is our thoughts. Our thoughts have the power to control our actions and ultimately our lives. Think about it. When we are faced with a fear, what is the first thing that happens? Our mind starts racing with negative thoughts. We start to doubt ourselves, question our abilities, and believe that we are not capable of overcoming that fear. But here's the thing. Our thoughts are not reality. They are merely a perception of reality. And the good news is, we have the power to change our thoughts. We have the power to control our minds and our thoughts. And once we understand this, we can start to break our fears. Now I'm not saying that it's easy. It takes time and effort to retrain our minds to think positively. But it is absolutely worth it. So how do we do it? How do we break our fears by understanding the root cause? Well, the first step is to identify the fear. What is it that you are afraid of? Write it down and be specific. Next, ask yourself why you are afraid of this. What is the worst that could happen? And then ask yourself, is this fear rational? Is it based on facts? Or is it just a thought? Most often you will realize that your fears are not based on facts. They are just thoughts that you have created in your mind. And once you understand this, you can start to challenge those thoughts. The next step is to replace those negative thoughts with positive ones. Instead of thinking, I'm not good enough, think, I am capable, and I will succeed. Instead of thinking, I will fail, think, I will learn and grow from this experience. It's important to remember that our thoughts are like seeds. The more we water them, the more they will grow. So we must water our minds with positive thoughts in order to break our fears. Another powerful tool to break our fears is to visualize success. Close your eyes and imagine yourself conquering that fear. See yourself speaking confidently in front of a crowd, succeeding in your business, getting that promotion. The more we visualize success, the more we believe in ourselves and our abilities. And lastly, take action. Action cures fear. The longer we wait, the more our fears will grow. So take that first step, no matter how small it may be. And then take another step, and another, until you have conquered that fear. Remember, fear is not something that we can eliminate completely. It is a natural part of life. But what we can do is learn to control it. We can learn to break our fears by understanding the root cause and taking action. Which leads us to number one. Breaking your fears by identifying your fears. You see, fear is like a dark cloud that hovers over our minds, blocking out the light of our dreams and aspirations. It can manifest in various forms. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of change, fear of the unknown. But the common denominator is that they all hold us back from taking action and living our best lives. So the question is, how do we break our fears? The answer is simple, by identifying them. You cannot conquer something that you do not acknowledge. It is like trying to fight an invisible enemy. You need to shine a light on your fears, bring them out into the open, and face them head on. Now I know it is not easy. Identifying our fears requires us to be brutally honest with ourselves. It means admitting our vulnerabilities and weaknesses. But let me tell you my friends, there is strength in vulnerability. It takes courage to acknowledge our fears, and that is the first step towards breaking them. So how do we identify our fears? The first step is to pay attention to our thoughts and emotions. Fear is often disguised as doubt, worry, or anxiety. When you catch yourself feeling doubtful, ask yourself, what am I afraid of? When you find yourself worrying about the future, ask yourself, what am I afraid of losing? When you feel anxious about a situation, ask yourself, what am I afraid will happen? The answers to these questions will lead you to the root of your fears. And once you have identified them, the next step is to confront them. Fear feeds on avoidance. The more we avoid our fears, the bigger they become. But when we face them, we realize that they are not as scary as we thought. It is like shining a light on a shadow. It disappears. 
Confronting our fears also means challenging the limiting beliefs that accompany them. We often create stories in our minds about why we cannot do something because we are afraid. But these stories are not based on facts, they are based on fear. So it is essential to question these beliefs and replace them with empowering ones. Another way to identify our fears is by seeking feedback from others. Sometimes our fears are so deeply ingrained in us that we cannot see them ourselves. But those who know us well can point them out to us. So do not be afraid to ask for feedback from trusted friends, family members, or mentors. Their insights can help you uncover fears that you did not even know existed. Once you have identified your fears, the next step is to take action. Fear often paralyzes us because we do not know how to move forward. But the truth is, the only way to overcome fear is by taking action. It is by doing the very thing that scares us that we realize it was not as scary as we thought. And with each small step, our fears start to lose their grip on us. Now, I want to address a common misconception about fear. Many people believe that successful individuals do not experience fear. But let me tell you, that is far from the truth. Every successful person has fears. But the difference is, that they do not let those fears hold them back. They have learned to identify and confront their fears, and that is what sets them apart. In fact, fear can be a powerful motivator. It can push us to take action, to work harder, and to strive for more. But it is essential to use fear as a motivator, not as a roadblock. And the only way to do that is by identifying it and using it to fuel our actions. So my friends, I urge you to start identifying your fears today. Shine a light on them, confront them, and take action despite them. As you do so, you will realize that your fears were not as powerful as you thought. And with each fear you conquer, you will become stronger, more confident, and more resilient. So I challenge you all to be brave, to be vulnerable, and to confront your fears. Because on the other side of fear lies growth, success and fulfillment. Thank you. Today's message is one that I believe is crucial for anyone striving for success. It's something that we all struggle with at some point in our lives. Self-doubt. It's that nagging voice in our heads that tells us we're not good enough, smart enough, or capable enough to achieve our dreams. But I'm here to tell you that you are not alone in this battle. In fact, it's a common obstacle that even the most successful individuals have faced. The good news is, you have the power to conquer self-doubt and achieve the success you desire. In this video, I will share with you five powerful ways to overcome self-doubt and reach your full potential. So if you're tired of letting self-doubt hold you back, then I urge you to keep watching. By the end of this video, you will have the tools and mindset to turn things around and start living your best life. So let's dive in and conquer self-doubt together. It is an honor to be here today and share with you the fifth way to conquer self-doubt and achieve success. As you all know, self-doubt is a common enemy that can hinder us from reaching our full potential. It creeps into our minds and whispers destructive thoughts that make us doubt our abilities and worth. But I am here to tell you that you have the power to conquer self-doubt and achieve the success you deserve. The fifth way to conquer self-doubt and achieve success is through practicing self-care and self-compassion. This may seem like a simple concept, but it is often overlooked and undervalued in our society. We are constantly bombarded with messages that tell us to push ourselves to the limit, to work harder and longer, and to sacrifice our well-being for success. But I am here to tell you that this mindset is flawed and can do more harm than good. Self-care and self-compassion are essential for our mental, emotional, and physical well-being. They are the foundation for success, and without them, we cannot reach our full potential. So what exactly is self-care and self-compassion? Self-care is the act of taking care of oneself both physically and mentally. It means prioritizing our needs and making sure we are nourishing our bodies, minds, and souls. Self-compassion, on the other hand, is the act of being kind and understanding towards ourselves. It means treating ourselves with the same love and compassion that we would show to a friend or a loved one. Now you may be wondering, how can self-care and self-compassion help us conquer self-doubt and achieve success? Well, let me tell you. When we practice self-care, we are sending a message to ourselves that we are worthy of love and care. We are acknowledging our needs and taking the necessary steps to meet them. This in turn boosts our self-esteem and confidence, making us less susceptible to self-doubt. Think about it. When you are well-rested, well-fed, and in a positive state of mind, do you doubt yourself as much? 
I highly doubt it. When we take care of ourselves, we are better equipped to handle challenges and setbacks. We have the energy and resilience to bounce back from failures and keep moving forward towards our goals. Self-compassion, on the other hand, allows us to be kind to ourselves when we make mistakes or face failures. It is natural to doubt ourselves when things don't go as planned. But self-compassion reminds us that we are only human and that it is okay to make mistakes. It helps us to learn from our failures and use them as stepping stones toward success. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have time for self-care and self-compassion. I have a busy schedule, and I need to focus on my goals. My friends, let me tell you this. Self-care and self-compassion are not luxuries. They are necessities. You cannot pour from an empty cup, and you cannot achieve success if you are burnt out and exhausted. So how can we practice self-care and self-compassion in our daily lives? Well, it starts with small, simple actions. It can be as simple as taking a few minutes each day to meditate, exercise, or practice gratitude. It can also mean setting boundaries and saying no to things that drain our energy and time. Remember, self-care is not selfish. It is necessary for our well-being. Self-compassion, on the other hand, can be practiced by being mindful of our self-talk. Instead of beating ourselves up when we make mistakes, we can choose to be understanding and kind towards ourselves. We can also surround ourselves with positive and supportive people who lift us up and remind us of our worth. My friends, self-care and self-compassion are powerful tools that can help us conquer self-doubt and achieve success. But they require consistent effort and practice. So I encourage you all to make self-care and self-compassion a priority in your life. Remember, you are worthy of love, care, and success. Now, to number four. The fourth way to conquer self-doubt and achieve success is taking action and embracing failure. Let me start by saying this. Self-doubt is the biggest obstacle standing in the way of your success. It is the voice inside your head that tells you that you are not good enough, that you will never make it, that you are not worthy of success. But those are just lies. They are nothing but limiting beliefs that hold you back from reaching your full potential. The good news is, you have the power to silence that voice and overcome self-doubt. And the key to doing that is by taking action. You see, self-doubt thrives in inaction. When you are not taking any action towards your goals and dreams, your mind starts to doubt your abilities. It starts to question whether you are capable of achieving what you set out to do. And before you know it, you are stuck in a cycle of self-doubt and inaction. But when you take action, you are sending a powerful message to your mind that you are in control, that you are capable, and that you are not going to let self-doubt hold you back. And with each action you take, that voice of self-doubt gets weaker and weaker until it eventually fades away. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. What if I fail? What if I try and I don't succeed? Well, my friends, that brings me to the second part of this topic. Embracing failure. You see, failure is not something to be feared. In fact, failure is an essential part of the journey to success. It is through failure that we learn, grow, and become better versions of ourselves. Think about it. Every successful person you admire has failed at some point in their journey. They have faced rejection, setbacks, and obstacles. But what sets them apart is their ability to embrace failure and use it as a stepping stone toward success. Let me share with you a personal story. When I first started my career as a motivational speaker, I faced a lot of failure. I was rejected by countless organizations. I received negative feedback. And I even had some people tell me that I was not cut out for this line of work. But instead of letting those failures discourage me, I used them as fuel to keep going. I learned from my mistakes, I improved my skills, and I kept taking action. And eventually, I achieved the success that I had always dreamed of. So my friends, I urge you to embrace failure. Embrace it as a necessary part of your journey toward success. Because every failure brings you one step closer to your goals. Now I know that taking action and embracing failure is easier said than done. It takes courage, determination, and a strong mindset. But I am here to tell you that you have what it takes to conquer self-doubt and achieve success. You have the power to take action, to silence that voice of self-doubt, and to keep moving forward despite failure. And as you do, you will start to see the results. You will start to see your dreams turning into reality and your self-doubt fading away. But let me be clear, this is not a one-time thing. 
Conquering self-doubt and achieving success is an ongoing process. It requires constant effort, dedication, and a willingness to keep pushing forward no matter what. And now, to number three. The third way to conquer self-doubt and achieve success is surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people. Now, you may be wondering, why is this so important? Well, let me tell you. The people you surround yourself with have a significant impact on your thoughts, beliefs, and actions. They can either lift you up or bring you down. Think about it. Have you ever been around someone who constantly complains, criticizes, and doubts themselves? How did you feel after spending time with them? I bet you felt drained, demotivated, and maybe even started doubting yourself. On the other hand, have you been around someone who radiates positivity, encouragement, and confidence? How did that make you feel? I bet you felt inspired, motivated, and ready to take on the world. That, my friends, is the power of the people we surround ourselves with. So if you want to conquer self-doubt and achieve success, you must be intentional about the people you allow into your inner circle. You must surround yourself with positive and supportive individuals who believe in you, uplift you, and push you to be your best self. But how do you find these people? Well, let me share with you some tips that have helped me and countless others in our journey toward success. First and foremost, you must be clear about your goals and values. When you know what you want to achieve and what you stand for, it becomes easier to attract like-minded individuals into your life. These are the people who will understand your vision, support your dreams, and help you overcome self-doubt. Next, you must be willing to let go of toxic relationships. We all have people in our lives who drain our energy, bring us down, and constantly feed our self-doubt. It could be a friend, a family member, or even a colleague. As hard as it may be, you must distance yourself from these individuals. Remember, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So choose wisely. Now you may be thinking, what if I don't have anyone in my life who fits the description of a positive and supportive person? Well, my friends, that is where personal development comes in. You must become the person you want to attract. Start by working on your mindset, beliefs, and habits. Surround yourself with positive and uplifting material, books, podcasts, seminars, and workshops. You will be amazed at how quickly you will attract like-minded individuals into your life when you are on the same frequency. Another way to find positive and supportive people is by joining groups or communities that align with your goals and values. It could be a mastermind group, a networking group, or even an online community. These are great places to meet people who are on a similar journey as you and can provide the support and encouragement you need to conquer self-doubt and achieve success. But remember, it's not just about finding positive and supportive people. It's also about being one. Be the person who uplifts and encourages others. Be the person who believes in their dreams and helps them overcome their self-doubt. When you give, you receive tenfold, and the universe has a way of bringing the right people into your life when you are in alignment with your values and goals. Now let me address a common misconception. Surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people does not mean surrounding yourself with yes men and women. These are individuals who will only tell you what you want to hear and never challenge you to be better. No, my friends. Surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people means surrounding yourself with individuals who will hold you accountable, challenge you to grow, and push you to reach your full potential. Now, to number two. The number two way to conquer self-doubt and achieve success is setting realistic goals. We all have dreams and aspirations, but without a clear plan and realistic goals, these dreams will remain just that. Dreams. Setting goals is crucial for personal growth and success. It gives us a sense of direction and purpose, and it allows us to measure our progress along the way. But let me tell you, setting goals is not enough. You must set realistic goals. This means setting goals that are achievable and within your reach. Now, this does not mean setting mediocre goals or settling for less than you deserve. It simply means setting goals that are challenging yet attainable. You see, many people make the mistake of setting unrealistic goals. They want to achieve everything overnight, and when they don't see immediate results, they become discouraged and doubt their abilities. This self-doubt can be crippling and can hinder our progress toward success. So how do we set realistic goals? The first step is to have a clear vision of what you want to achieve. Take some time to reflect on your dreams and aspirations. What do you want to accomplish in your life? What is your ultimate goal? Once you have a clear vision, break it down into smaller achievable goals. 
For example, if your ultimate goal is to become a successful entrepreneur, your smaller goals could include starting a business plan, securing funding, and launching your product or service. These are all achievable goals that will eventually lead you to your ultimate goal. Next, it is important to set a timeline for your goals. This will give you a sense of urgency and keep you motivated. But be realistic with your timeline. Don't set a deadline that is too short or too long. Set a timeline that is challenging yet attainable. Another crucial aspect of setting realistic goals is to have a plan in place. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. You must have a clear plan of action to achieve your goals. This plan should include specific steps and milestones that will help you reach your goals. But let me warn you, setting realistic goals does not mean that there won't be challenges and setbacks along the way. In fact, setbacks are inevitable on the road to success. But the key is to not let these setbacks discourage you or make you doubt yourself. Instead, use them as learning opportunities and adjust your plan accordingly. One of the biggest mistakes people make when setting goals is focusing solely on the end result. While it is important to have a clear vision of your ultimate goal, it is equally important to enjoy the journey towards achieving it. Celebrate your small wins and milestones along the way. This will keep you motivated and give you a sense of accomplishment. Now, I want to address a common misconception about setting realistic goals. Many people believe that setting realistic goals means limiting yourself and your potential. But let me tell you, that couldn't be further from the truth. Setting realistic goals actually allows you to tap into your full potential and achieve even greater success. When you set unrealistic goals, you are setting yourself up for failure. This can be demoralizing and can lead to self-doubt. On the other hand, when you set realistic goals and achieve them, you build confidence and self-belief. This will propel you towards even greater success. And now to number one. Number one is often overlooked, but has the ability to hold us back from achieving our true potential. Self-doubt. Self-doubt is a destructive force that can sabotage our dreams and paralyze our actions. It is the voice in our head that tells us we are not good enough, smart enough, or capable enough to achieve our goals. It is the seed of negativity that takes root in our minds and grows into a forest of self-limiting beliefs. But I am here to tell you that self-doubt is not a permanent state of mind. It is a choice that we make, and it is a choice that we can change. The number one way to conquer self-doubt and achieve success is to identify and challenge negative thoughts. Our thoughts have the power to shape our reality. If we constantly think negative thoughts, we will attract negative outcomes. But if we can identify and challenge those negative thoughts, we can change the course of our lives. So how do we identify negative thoughts? The first step is to become aware of them. Our thoughts are like a river, constantly flowing in and out of our minds. We must learn to observe them without judgment. When a negative thought arises, we must acknowledge it and then let it go. We must not dwell on it or let it consume us. Instead, we must challenge it. Challenging negative thoughts means questioning their validity. We must ask ourselves, is this thought based on facts or on my fears? More often than not, our negative thoughts are not rooted in reality. They are simply projections of our fears and insecurities. By challenging them, we can weaken their hold on us. For example, if you have a dream of starting your own business but the thought of failure constantly haunts you, ask yourself, is this fear based on facts? Have I actually tried and failed before? Most likely the answer is no. So why let this fear hold you back? Challenge it and replace it with a positive thought. Tell yourself, I am capable and determined. I will learn from any mistakes and use them to grow and succeed. The next step is to replace negative thoughts with positive ones. Our minds are like a garden, and our thoughts are the seeds we plant. If we constantly plant seeds of doubt and fear, we will reap a harvest of failure. But if we plant seeds of positivity and belief, we will reap a harvest of success. This is not to say that we should ignore the potential challenges and obstacles that may come our way. It is important to be realistic and prepared. But we must also have faith in our abilities, and trust that we can overcome any challenge that comes our way. Another powerful way to challenge negative thoughts is to surround ourselves with positive influences. The people we spend the most time with have a significant impact on our thoughts and beliefs. If we surround ourselves with negative and pessimistic people, we will begin to adopt their mindset. But if we surround ourselves with positive and supportive individuals, we will be uplifted and encouraged. In addition to the people we surround ourselves with, the books we read, the podcast we listen to, 
and the videos we watch also play a significant role in shaping our thoughts. Make a conscious effort to consume positive and motivational content. Fill your mind with stories of people who have overcome self-doubt and achieved great success. Let their stories inspire and motivate you to do the same. Now, I want to address a common misconception about self-doubt. Many people believe that successful individuals do not experience self-doubt. But let me tell you, this is far from the truth. Every single one of us, no matter how successful, has experienced self-doubt at some point in our lives. The difference is that successful individuals have learned to identify and challenge those negative thoughts, and they do not let them hold them back. So my challenge to you today is to start identifying and challenging your negative thoughts. Make a conscious effort to replace them with positive ones. Surround yourself with positive influences and consume motivational content. And most importantly, believe in yourself and your abilities. Remember, the only limits we have are the ones we set for ourselves. Thank you. Today. I'm thrilled to share a message that I believe has the power to profoundly change your life. In today's message, we'll delve into the topic of conquering your comfort zone and unlocking your full potential. You might be wondering, why should I leave my comfort zone? After all, it's comfortable for a reason. But let me tell you, my friends, staying within our comfort zone is one of the greatest barriers to personal growth and success. It constrains our potential and hinders us from achieving our goals and dreams. But here's the good news. You're not alone in this struggle. We all have our comfort zones, and we all face the challenge of breaking free from them. However, the difference lies in how we choose to confront it. By listening to this message, you're taking the first step toward turning things around and stepping into the life you truly desire. So, are you ready to conquer your comfort zone and unlock your full potential? Are you ready to break free from the limitations that hold you back? If your answer is yes, then let's delve into the five ways that will assist you in conquering your comfort zone and unleashing your full potential. Trust me, by the end of this, you'll feel inspired and equipped with the tools to take action and create the life you deserve. So, let's get started. Let's begin with number five. Conquering your comfort zone by embracing discomfort. I understand what some of you may be thinking. Why would anyone willingly leave their comfort zone and subject themselves to discomfort? It's a fair question. But let me pose this to you. Have you ever achieved anything remarkable by staying within your comfort zone? Have you ever grown, learned, or improved without stepping outside of what is familiar and easy? The answer, my friends, is no. That's why it's crucial to embrace discomfort, because it's only when we step out of our comfort zone that we truly grow and reach our full potential. But how do we conquer our comfort zone? It's not easy, but it's definitely achievable. The first step is to recognize that our comfort zone is not a physical place, but rather a state of mind. It's where we feel safe, secure, and in control. While it may seem desirable, it's also a place of stagnation and limitation. We must understand that growth and progress can only occur when we're willing to step out of our comfort zone and embrace discomfort. This discomfort can manifest in various forms. Trying something new, taking on a new challenge, or facing our fears. But it's through these uncomfortable experiences that we learn, adapt, and become better versions of ourselves. So my friends, I urge you to start embracing discomfort and conquering your comfort zone. It's through these experiences that we learn, grow, and become the best versions of ourselves. Remember, our comfort zone is not a place of growth but rather a place of limitation. Moving on to number four, in order to achieve our dreams and reach our full potential. We must be willing to step outside of our comfort zone and take small steps towards our goals. I know it can be scary to step outside of our comfort zone. It's human nature to want to stay in our safe bubble where we know what to expect and feel in control. But growth and comfort cannot coexist. If we want to grow and become the best version of ourselves, we must be willing to step out of our comfort zone and take small steps towards our goals. So how do we conquer our comfort zone? The answer is simple. Take small steps. Many of us make the mistake of trying to make big, drastic changes in our lives all at once. We set huge goals and expect to achieve them overnight. But success is not a one-time event. It's a series of small steps taken consistently over time. Just like when we were babies learning to walk, we took small steps until we built up the strength and confidence to take bigger steps. The same principle applies to conquering our comfort zone. We must take small steps until we build up the strength and confidence to take bigger steps towards our goals. 
So my friends, I urge you to start taking small steps towards your goals. It could be as simple as waking up 15 minutes earlier each day to work on a side project, or signing up for a course to learn a new skill. These small steps may seem insignificant, but they are building momentum and moving you closer to your dreams. I know stepping outside of our comfort zone can be scary. We may fear failure, rejection, or what others will think of us. But the only way to overcome these fears is to face them head on. As the saying goes, everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. So my friends, I challenge you to do one thing every day that scares you. By facing our fears and taking small steps, we are not only conquering our comfort zone, but also building resilience and confidence. Moving on to number three, conquering your comfort zone by setting goals outside of it. Are you satisfied with where you are in life right now? Are you living up to your full potential? Or are you stuck in a comfortable routine, going through the motions day after day, year after year? If you're truly happy, that's great. But if you have even the slightest feeling of dissatisfaction or a desire for more, then you owe it to yourself to step out of your comfort zone and set goals that will challenge and inspire you. So, how do we break free from this comfort zone and achieve our true potential? The answer is simple. We set goals outside of it. We take risks, challenge ourselves, and push ourselves out of our comfort zone. Setting goals outside of our comfort zone is the key to personal growth and success. It's what separates the average from the exceptional. And while it's not easy, it's definitely worth it. To conquer our comfort zone and set goals outside of it, we first need to identify our comfort zone. What are the things that we do on a daily basis without much thought or effort? What are the things that we avoid because they make us uncomfortable? These are the boundaries of our comfort zone. Next, we need to start setting goals that are just outside of our comfort zone. Goals that will require us to stretch and grow. These goals will challenge us, but they are achievable with effort and determination. But here's the crucial part. We need to take action. It's not enough to just set goals. We need to take action towards achieving them. So my friends, I urge you to step out of your comfort zone, set goals that inspire you, and take action towards achieving them. And let me tell you, the first step is always the hardest. It's the step that takes you out of your comfort zone and into the unknown. But once you take that step, you'll realize that it's not as scary as you thought. And with each step, you gain confidence and momentum. But here's the thing. You will face obstacles and setbacks along the way. You'll face fear, doubt, and discomfort. And that's okay. In fact, it's necessary because it's through these challenges that we grow and become stronger. So when you face these obstacles, don't retreat back into your comfort zone. Instead, face them head on and push through. Remember, the greater the challenge, the greater the reward. Now let me tell you something that might surprise you. Failure is a necessary part of success. Yes, you've heard that right. Failure is not something to be feared, but rather embraced because it's through failure that we learn and improve. So if you fail, don't beat yourself up. Instead, reflect on what went wrong, learn from it, and use that knowledge to do better next time. And finally, I want to leave you with this. The comfort zone is not a physical place, it's a state of mind. It's a mindset that limits us and holds us back from reaching our full potential. But the good news is, we have the power to change our mindset. We have the power to break free from our comfort zone and achieve greatness. And it all starts with setting goals outside of it. My friends, I urge you to take action today. Identify your comfort zone, set goals outside of it, and take that first step towards achieving them. I promise you, it will be uncomfortable, it will be scary, but it will also be the most rewarding thing you'll ever do. Now let's break down number two which is understanding why you stay in your comfort zone. We all have a comfort zone, a place where we feel safe and secure. It's a place where we're familiar with our surroundings and we know what to expect. But is staying in your comfort zone really helping you grow and achieve your goals? I believe the answer is no. You see, staying in your comfort zone is like being stuck in quicksand. At first it may feel safe and secure, but the longer you stay, the harder it becomes to get out. And before you know it, you're trapped and unable to move forward. This is the danger of staying in your comfort zone. It may feel good in the moment, but it's holding you back from reaching your full potential. So why do we stay in our comfort zones? The answer is simple. Fear. We're afraid of the unknown, of failure, of rejection, and of change. We're afraid to step out of our comfort zone because we're afraid of what might happen. 
But let me tell you, this fear is just an illusion. It's a product of our thoughts, and it only has power over us if we allow it to. Think about it. When you were a child, you weren't afraid to try new things, to take risks, and make mistakes. But as we grow older, we become more cautious and hesitant. We start to overthink and analyze every decision we make. We let fear control us and keep us in our comfort zone. But here's the thing. In order to conquer your comfort zone, you must first understand why you stay in it. Is it because of fear, self-doubt, or past failures? Once you understand the root cause, you can start to work towards overcoming it. One of the main reasons we stay in our comfort zone is because we're afraid of failure. We're afraid of trying something new and not succeeding. But let me tell you, failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of success. Every successful person has failed multiple times before they achieve their goals. Failure is not something to be feared. It's something to be embraced because it's through failure that we learn and grow. Another reason we stay in our comfort zone is because of self-doubt. We doubt our abilities and our worthiness. We compare ourselves to others and think we're not good enough. But let me tell you this. You are capable of achieving great things. You have unique talents and skills that no one else has. Don't let self-doubt hold you back from reaching your full potential. Believe in yourself and trust in your abilities. Past failures can also keep us trapped in our comfort zone. We're afraid to try again because we don't want to experience the pain of failure. But here's the thing. Past failures do not determine your future. You have the power to change your circumstances and create a new outcome. Learn from your past failures and use them as stepping stones towards success. Now, I want to share with you some practical steps to help you conquer your comfort zone. The first step is to set clear and specific goals. When you have a clear vision of what you want to achieve, it becomes easier to step out of your comfort zone. Write down your goals and create an action plan to achieve them. The second step is to take small steps towards your goals. You don't have to make big leaps, but take small steps every day. This will help you build momentum and gain confidence. Remember, progress is progress, no matter how small. The third step is to surround yourself with the right people. The people you surround yourself with have a huge impact on your mindset and your actions. Surround yourself with positive and supportive individuals who will encourage you to step out of your comfort zone. The fourth step is to embrace discomfort. As I mentioned earlier, discomfort is necessary for growth and success. Don't shy away from challenges and new experiences. Embrace them and see them as opportunities to learn and grow. And finally, the fifth step is to celebrate your successes. No matter how small, every time you step out of your comfort zone and take action towards your goals, celebrate it. This will give you the motivation to keep going and conquer your comfort zone. Now, to the number one way to conquer your comfort zone. So, how do we conquer our comfort zone? The first step is to identify it. You see, our comfort zone is not a physical place, but a mental state. It's a set of beliefs and habits that we've developed over time. And the only way to break free from it is to become aware of it. Take a moment to reflect on your life. Are there certain areas where you feel stuck or stagnant? Do you find yourself making excuses for not taking risks or trying new things? These are all signs that you may be in your comfort zone. Once you've identified your comfort zone, the next step is to understand why it exists. Our comfort zone is a product of our past experiences, our fears, and our limiting beliefs. We've been conditioned to believe that staying within our comfort zone is the safest and most secure option. But let me tell you, playing it safe will never lead to greatness. It's only when we step out of our comfort zone that we can truly grow and achieve our goals. Now I'm not suggesting that we should completely abandon our comfort zone and jump into the unknown. That would be reckless. What I am advocating for is a gradual expansion of our comfort zone. We must be willing to take small steps outside of our comfort zone and challenge ourselves. For example, if public speaking is something that makes you uncomfortable, start by speaking in front of a small group of friends or colleagues. As you gain more confidence, you can gradually increase the size of your audience. The key is to push ourselves just enough to feel a little uncomfortable, but not so much that we become overwhelmed. This is what I like to call the stretch zone. It's a place where we can learn and grow without feeling completely out of our depth. But why is it so important to step out of our comfort zone? Well, let me share with you three reasons. Firstly, stepping out of our comfort zone allows us to discover our true potential. Many of us have hidden talents and abilities that we're not aware of because we've never pushed ourselves to explore them. 
When we step out of our comfort zone, we're forced to tap into our inner strength and creativity. We're able to see what we're truly capable of achieving. Secondly, conquering our comfort zone leads to personal growth. When we stay within our comfort zone, we're not challenging ourselves to learn and improve. It's only when we face new challenges and experiences that we can learn and develop new skills. And this growth not only benefits us personally, but it also makes us more valuable to our employers, our families, and our communities. And finally, stepping out of our comfort zone leads to a more fulfilling and meaningful life. We all have dreams and aspirations, but they can only be realized if we're willing to take risks and step out of our comfort zone. Imagine looking back on your life and regretting not taking that chance or trying something new. Don't let fear hold you back from living a life of purpose and fulfillment. So, my friends, I urge you to identify your comfort zone and start taking small steps outside of it. Remember, growth and success are not found within our comfort zone, but just beyond it. And as you continue to push yourself and expand your comfort zone, you'll see your confidence, your abilities, and your opportunities grow. In part two of this speech, We'll delve deeper into personal development and discuss practical ways to expand your comfort zone. But for now, I leave you with this quote from the great American writer Mark Twain. Twenty years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bowlines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover.